Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be having a look at how you can install OpenIV and how you can set it up properly using a mods folder. My name is Albo1125 and this video is part of a series called Learn GTA 5 Modding Albo's Way, uh, in which I tell you lots of tips and tricks on how you can install your uh, GTA 5 modded like I do. So if you haven't checked that out yet, please check that out. Link's going to be in the description. We are going to be starting off right where we left off in the previous episode. So make sure you're up to scratch on that one. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So you may be wondering, what does OpenIV allow me to do? Uh, OpenIV allows you to edit the game files of GTA 5, which basically allows you to install custom vehicles, PEDs, sirens and uh, visuals so you can edit basically anything the game does there are lots of mods out there that you can put into your game using OpenIV and we are going to have a look at how you can set up OpenIV and install those modifications properly so what we're going to start off by doing is we are going to go over to the openiv.com download page link for that is going to be in the description and we are going to click download now and then we are going to go over to our download slash GTA 5 mods folder and for this OpenIV thing, we are just going to save it in the root because it is a very special thing. It doesn't really fit very well into a category. So we're just going to sit it up over here and we are going to be running the application. And you're going to go through this installation process. We are going to select English, of course. We are going to select I accept the terms of the license agreement. Obviously read this if you're into that kind of thing. And after that, we are going to select install OpenIV to this computer. We are going to uh, select create desktop icon and we are not going to run OpenIV after installation. The installation path is something that you cannot change, uh, so we just leave that as it is. And after that, we are going to click continue once again. Download size 11.5 megabytes. You want to continue, we are going to select yes. And it's going to start downloading and installing automatically, should all work uh, without you having to do anything else. And once that is done, you're going to get this screen where it's going to click close and OpenIV will be installed successfully. So once you've installed it, you're going to run OpenIV either from your desktop or from your start menu. I've pinned it to my taskbar over here for, so I can access it nicely. And after that, we are going to be getting this screen. We are going to select Windows on Grand Theft Auto V. So we'll click that and it's going to come up with this. Uh, without specifying the game location, OpenIV cannot open GTA 5 files as it would not have enough information. So what we're going to do is we are going to click the Browns button up over here. And after that, you're going to navigate over to your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, and then we're going to select Select Folder. And it should come up with the path here, make sure that is correct. And it should say successfully found GTA 5.exe with the version, and OpenIV can work with the file. So after that, we are going to click Continue. And then it's going to give you a warning, do not forget to back up your original files. We are going to get to that in a minute, and we're going to click Continue again. Continue again and it will start loading up just like that. It will search for an encryption key, might take a few seconds up over here and it should pop up on the screen right about now. There we go. So now that we've got this all open, you might find this a little bit of a confusing interface. I remember finding it a little bit uh, weird myself at the beginning, but you'll get used to it pretty quickly. So the first thing we are going to do is make sure that all our files are going to be safe and that we mod in a proper way. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go into the tools menu we're going to go over to ASI Manager. And it should come up with this. It should already say ASI Loader has been installed. If you follow the previous sections of my tutorial where we installed Scriptug 5. If you haven't done that yet, you will have to click Install uh, on ASI Loader. But it should be installed already if you followed my previous tutorials properly. Now the one we're going to install is OpenIV.ASI. And what this does is, it says actually over here, it also provides support for the mods folder. So we're going to click install up over here. And it's going to give us some information, create mods folder. The mods folder allows you to keep all your original files safe and have easiest one click way to switch between modified and original files. And we are going to make sure that this box is ticked, show notification while editing archive outside of the mods folder. So after that we are going to click yes, and that is all going to be working very nicely and we can close this window. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to close OpenIV and we are going to go into our Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. And now you're going to have a look if you've got a folder called Mods. It should have been installed automatically uh, when we did the OpenIV setup just now. If it's not there, you can go into the home menu, select new folder and create a new folder that is called Mods. For me it is already there and it should be empty, that is all going to be very good. 
as that is exactly how it should be. So make sure you have an empty folder named mods. And after that, what we're going to do is we are going to hold control. We're going to select updates and x64, these two folders. We are going to right click. We are going to copy. And after that, we are going to go into our mods folder. We're going to right click and we're going to select paste or press control V on the keyboard. And it is going to copy these files over into this folder. Now you may wonder why we are doing this. The reason for this is that all of the folders and files inside the mods folder will be loaded by the game. And that is because we just installed the openiv.asi. So the basic principle of the mods folder is you can copy all of your original game files into the mods folder that you wish to edit. And then you can edit them without actually having to edit the actual game files themselves. And doing this is very important for a number of reasons. The first reason is that you keep your original files intact and thus don't have to worry about backing up your files again separately. So all of the files that are over here, they are all original. Only the files inside the mods folder will be edited by ourselves and open IV. And the second reason is if you try to edit the actual game files when you're on a retail version of GTA, it'll not allow you to play the game. So using a mods folder on the retail version of GTA is mandatory. It is optional on the Steam version, but I highly recommend doing it because if you don't, you will get a lot of mess with having to restore backups from external locations and having to reinstall the game. So how it works is that whenever a mod tells you to replace a file in say the update and update.rpf file, uh, you do it inside the mods, update, and then update RPF file. So you basically do everything the same, except you go into your mods folder first. So a few examples of paths using the mods folder will be on screen right now. The basic principle of it is to first go into your mods folder and then install the file that you want to install in the location that the readme tells you to. And that is also the reason why we are copying the update folder and the x64 folder into the mods folder because these two folders are pretty much the bare minimum that you need to start modding your game properly, as the update folder contains vehicles, peds, visuals, and a whole lot of other stuff, and the x64 folder contains the sirens that your vehicles use. So if we want to change those things, we put them in the mods folder, and we edit those folders in the mods folder, and these then will get loaded by the game. So as you can see, our files and folders are still copying. It will probably take you a few minutes depending on how fast your disk drive is. I'm not going to wait for all of that. Uh, so basically, once this is done, we are done with the setup and installation of OpenIV and the mods folder. So that basically concludes this video. In the next episodes, we will be looking at how you can actually replace the files that the game uses properly so that you can install custom pets, vehicles, weapons, sirens, visuals, uh, and so on. So I hope you all enjoy the video. If you did, please remember to leave a like. And if you are new to the channel and haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing for future content and tutorials. And if you haven't checked out the Learn GTA 5 Morning Albers Way playlist yet, a link for that will be on screen right now. So I do hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.